So I've been spending time on the Desmos Reddit this winter break looking at what kind of cool graphs people have been making um, and I wanted to try to make them look a little bit cooler and I got into animating uh, some graphs. If you haven't heard of Desmos before, it's an online graphing calculator and most people only think that it can graph like parabolas and lines and stuff like that but it actually does a lot more than people know. I even made these effects that you see on the screen in Desmos um, with the extension Desmodder to export a GIF. I just put a background of green so that I can, in iMovie, tell it that it's a green screen and then get cool animations um, without having to use a green screen. The only thing is it is in the front always and I can never put it in the back, but that's fun. I feel like I'm in a lecture this right now. Hi. <laughs> I've been spending a lot of time on um, the, the Desmos Reddit. Oh, there's um, a Desmos Reddit? There's a Desmos Reddit. So here was, here's the post that I took the equation from. And so here, here it is. I put a parameter in the sign argument and uh, this is what happens as you, as you change sign. <laughs> And then I overlaid with another one with the parameter in the other uh, term. So there, you know, this, this, oh my goodness, that is so sick. You know, you could like make a career out of making these trippy screens for people. <laughs> like really, like imagine like really trippy <laughs> screensavers. Like, that would be sick. That's true. This is kind of fun. Wow. Look at this. This is so trippy. Yeah, and then look, it goes, I really like how it goes into, um. it like splits and then yeah. each, each one splits apart. And then it goes nothing. Amazing. Then That's actually amazing. And it's, what? And it's different. Yeah. And like these equations aren't that bad. Like you would yeah. think to do this, you'd need like recursion or something. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's just like it's basic. Amazing. Found this cool graph on the Reddit page and I added a slider to it in the argument for cosine, that A variable there. And as you change A, some weird stuff happens. What does it look like to you? That, that's the the thing that I don't think I can explain is that sort of sucking in motion you yeah, get. Yeah, that's ridiculous. So this is uh, a equals zero. As you move, it looks like everything's getting sucked in, yeah. right? And then it like, and then it like grows out from there. Yeah. This animation is just another variation that I did using the previous equation, but I overlaid two of the same equations, one with a slider in one spot and one with a slider in a different spot. Picked some nice colors and it made this really pretty uh, fish pond looking thing. Desmos is actually hosting their second annual art contest. So anyone over the age of 13 can enter. All they want you to do is make some art on Desmos and share it. So I encourage any of you who are watching, if this is something you might be interested in, to uh, play around with Desmos, see if you like it, see if you can make anything cool and maybe submit something. 
People are even making their own games in Desmos. This person made Flappy Bird, which is amazing. Great throwback to uh, 2012. When was Flappy Bird popular? I don't remember. Um, but yeah, people really are pushing the boundaries for what can be done in Desmos. Um, I don't think anyone at the Desmos team intended it intended for it to become a game developing software, but I kind of like that this is happening. And hopefully we can get more of their backend stuff to make it more like a programming language, but I really like how accessible it is and you really don't need to know a lot about coding or anything about coding at all. Everything's really intuitive. Um, I think it's a great way to get into coding without having to learn um, all the basics like, you know, variables and data types. Um, yeah, I think it's, I think it's a great way to get into this kind of thing. Yeah, and just like Desmos is really nice because it makes it very clean to input math, which is something that a lot of the other software doesn't have. Like, you yeah. can remember even like the ODE plotter, you have to put like, like it, it's yeah, messy. It's, it's nice. messy. It looks like it was made in the 2000s and no one has bothered yeah. to update it since. And it, it's also, it also feels timeless. Like I remember using this like, like almost, almost a decade ago, you know, yeah. like I think this stuff right here takes the cake. Like I've, I've literally never seen something as insane as this on Desmos. I really like this one. It kind of reminds me of a uh, horizon line, even though it's not. It's kind of giving me sci-fi world. <laughs> So here's a graph I found on the Desmos page. Um, in the comments, someone said, hey, even cooler with an absolute value in the cosine under the radical. So here's the original graph. Um, I put an inequality instead of equals to shade in some regions. Here's me trying to put an absolute value under the cosine in the radical, like the comment said. That's pretty cool. And then I overlaid with like a different variation in blue. It does look kind of messed up because Desnos can't really handle what's going on, but I kind of like that about it. I also made this one with another equation from Reddit. It looks like a landscape, which I kind of like, and then it turns into blobby stuff. Here's it zoomed in. It definitely reminds me of a lava lamp. So that's cool. This video is not sponsored by Desmos. Haha, <laughs> unless, no, I'm just kidding. But Desmos, if you want to sponsor me, <laughs> I will work for you. Please just hire me. <laughs> I want to work at Desmos. And what about it? There is a lot of really cool educational stuff that you can do on Desmos um, as a teacher or even just as a learner. But I wanted to make this video specifically about the fun, artsy kind of thing you can do on Desmos. And I'll probably make, be making some videos at some point about um, math, more math focused or math teaching focused. Desmos. So stay tuned for that. If you guys do end up making anything in Desmos or have anything else you want to share, definitely post it in the comments down below and I'll check it out. Um, thanks for watching!